I have a 17-year-old finished head horse that had an incident backing out of the trailer, and it scared him. To get him to load again, I began working him in the round pen. Ultimately, he now loads fine, but I shared my experiences with a friend who is a horse trainer, not a Clinton Anderson advocate. That trainer told me that working an older, finished head horse in the round pen was a really bad thing to do because I'd piss off an older horse, and I'd instill bad habits and likely ruin prior training the horse had been exposed to. Did I do damage to my horse? Ken, thank you for your question. And the answer is no, you didn't do any damage to your horse. Your horse didn't want to go in the trailer. So it doesn't give a sh I don't give a shit how good a head horse he is. If you can't get the son bitch in the trailer to go to the next rope, and what good is he to you? So you had to address the trailering problem, okay? And as far as working your horse, basically when you were working in the round pen, you were doing groundwork. You were backing the horse up, lunging for respect. You were working on groundwork. Groundwork just makes any horse better. It doesn't, doesn't ruin horses, it just makes them better. So your friend is 100% full of shit. That's what they are. I made millions traveling all over the world teaching people to get along with their horses. Your friend doesn't know jack shit about horses. Opinions, Ken, are like assholes. Everybody's got one. So what I do is I listen to the people that have assholes and opinions when they are the best at what they do. So if I want to learn about a different industry, guess what? I go find the best guy in that industry and I listen to his opinion. I don't listen to the opinion of my dumbass neighbor over the back that's trained two horses over 40 years. You get my drift. So you did everything right. Now, if you would have said, Clinton, I took a 17-year-old head horse and I took it to a reining trainer and I'm, now I'm trying to train it to be a reining horse or a dressage horse or now I'm doing completely different riding exercises that this horse has no idea how to do and he's 17 years old, I could say, eh, I don't think that'd be wise. He's a 17 year old head horse. He's going to ride a certain way. Don't change the way he rides. But you didn't say that. You're working on groundwork. And the reason you're working on the groundwork is to establish enough respect and control to get his ass back in the trailer. What I would do is I'd work him outside the trailer. When he runs out of air, put him in the trailer, let him rest. Let him rest for five, 10 minutes, back him out, work him outside, work, 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 put him back in the trailer, let him rest for 10 minutes. You do that five, six times, he'll haul ass in that trailer. He'll run on that trailer so damn fast, Ken, he'll drag your ass on there, okay? So keep that in mind. So yes, on the ground, you cannot do any damage. Now, again, if you would have said, I'm going to lunge a 17-year-old horse for four and a half hours, five times in a 24-hour period for the next 30 days, I might say, okay, that might be a little much for a 17-year-old horse, but that's not what you described. The real answer is, did it work? Did he get back in the trailer? And if the answer is yes, he's back in the trailer, he's safe, he's no longer worried about the trailer, whatever you did work, didn't it?